something else that you struggle with. You talked about it in 2019. You had a, a pill addiction. Yeah. Opioid child. Let's be let's be specific. How, Percocet. How did you realize that you had a problem? Because when I saw how much I was spending, I was like, wait a minute, how is this amount of mortgage, child? And I thought because I could afford it, mm. that it was it was cool. This is the music industry. Right. You yeah, have yeah. access to everything. Yeah. And with me being, you know, who I am, mm -hmm. it's just like, you know, where they at? They around, you feel me? Yeah. So I um I would I would say the addiction started and it was just it, it literally just happens because I've had five C sections with my children. I've had one. And they give you the best meds. So you sit up there, if you feel something, pop, yep, yeah, morphine. Yeah. And it was just like <laughs> morphine. Honestly, let's be rude. It's heroin. Yeah. It was it was putting me to sleep. Child, it was just making me itch. And so they'll give you Make Benadryl. You yeah. Oh, and Benadryl help you not itch. Yeah. Okay. So I was just like, I didn't, honestly, I had so much pain in my life. Yeah. And so much physical, mental, emotional. I was like, I don't want to, I honestly didn't want to feel anything. Yes. So I felt like that took the pain away. But honestly, it made it worse. Because the withdrawal, when you like, all right, I'm cool off this. Like, how how was y'all charging this much for this? Like, now y'all now y'all dragging it. Like, I don't want it that bad. But then when you start paying, yeah, you're just like, dang, like this is an addiction. But then when it gets to the point where you're just like, okay, is 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 now it's getting out of hand? Mm -hmm. Because how did? But what point? At what point did you think it got out of hand? Was it because you looked because at how much you were spending? Or? It wasn't the fact that I wanted it. It was because I needed it. And it, and when you need something more than God, yeah, that way, like nah. So what did you do? Did you go to rehab? Did you? So I tried to do therapy, but I was like, child, y'all ain't about to talk my head off. Well, so what are you, what are you feeling inside? And when I, honestly, when I was doing marriage boot camp, they supposed to be doctors, but I had a whole and bag of perks. I was just like, and and they can go through your things. I was like, I'm gonna hide them in my coochie child. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm like, you ain't gonna find these. When I felt like, <clears throat> like that I needed it to survive. Yeah. Like that's when I was just like, nah, this getting out of hand. So it was just like, you try to scale back mm -hmm. and it's just like, when it becomes a part of your lifestyle, like waking up and having to take, so, <clears throat> all right, so let me break it down. There's, there's, so Percocets and opioids, there's, they have milligrams. Uh -huh. So 30 is considered the highest, but they have okay. 30s, 90s, da, da, da. When your shot, which we call it, when mm -hmm. your shot is a 30, a Zanny, a Adderall, a fucking, and some, like, the the weight that I was, I should have been dead. Yeah. Like, your body can't even handle it. Yeah. So you waking up just to be tweaking. And it was like, I felt like I, I would be sitting up here being normal. Yeah. Like, I was looking at some old breakfast club and I was like, God damn, I was high as shit. Yeah. Looking weird. And to me, I was just like functioning. Right. So I was like a functioning addict. And I was like, that's not how I was raised. Right. And I don't want my kids to see that. And I remember um, somebody sold me a bad pill. Ooh. And that's when that fentanyl was really coming out. And I was like, I remember being in my bathroom. I was like, I, I felt like weird. And I was like, God, please don't let me die. Right. And my kids find me. Right. Oh, my God. Like, could you imagine? I was like, I don't want... The first of all, I don't want to die, but then I don't want to die in my bathroom. My kids find me. Right. And then my road manager, uh, um, Adam, that's with me today. I remember we was at a concert in Baltimore, and I didn't even realize I passed out. So I wasn't even taking pills then. So you have to sub out, which is suboxone. So I had to like you have to wean your body off it. But because I was drinking to try to because when your body goes through withdrawal that feels like the pits of hell yeah it's like the worst feeling ever it's worse than this foot pain that i'm going through and i'm sitting down right 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 so i was just like when i had passed out and i and i didn't realize i was like yeah it's a problem yeah it's a problem how did you get off what did you do literally you had just, to go to hell and you went through this yourself you didn't go somewhere no because you go to those places and I'm going to tell you some real shit, uh -huh. especially in Baltimore, you get more drugs in the rehab than you on the street that way. So, yeah, when I was talking to Tamika Mallory about this, she was saying that she was concerned about what they were going to put her on once she got in there. Because they put you on something to get you off stuff and then you get addicted to that. Like, I was like, nah. Okay. Now, like, yeah. Okay. So I literally- You had to wait, do it yourself. Yeah. And it was the worst feeling and time. 
ever because even even though I haven't shoot what's this 2022 I haven't we call it Papa Prayer. I've been taking pills since 2019. So, yeah, it just, your body goes through. It's worse than labor. Mm. Like, because your body is so used to it. The pain and the agony and the demons, job. Ja. So, it's, it got, been, you, it's been three years since yeah. you've been clean. Yeah. That's amazing. That's a blessing. And you did it on your own. That's wild. Yeah. Because I, I'm, I'm a strong person. And I was like, I got to do this because I don't want to die like this. This, yeah. this, like, if that's how you want to die, like, you have to literally talk to God and be like, because God, people think he's going to be like, listen, listen, listen. He was like, that's how you want to die? Pick, pick your poison. Right. Yeah. Or do you want to live? You got these, what you want to do? Period. That way. And I really had to get to the point, like, I'm not going out like this. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you being transparent about it. Thank and I'm, I'm glad you came out on the other side.